Welcome everybody to the Phoenix showroom in Nunawading, Victoria. Today we're going to be showcasing the MKN Flexi Combi. We're going to be doing the MKN Optima Char Grill. We have fondue from the old days that are going to be cooked on the MKN induction. And then we're going across to the London Fryer and then also the Adventist Walk. Come along, join us and have some fun. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jacques Morin. Thank you for coming here. Um, we welcome you to this um, actually seventh demonstration we're doing this, uh, this year. So we went through um, uh, pressure cooking, electric kitchens, veggie prep. Next month, just uh, for a heads up, will be rotisserie. So we've been starting talking about rotisserie. Next month will be rotisserie and then November will be um, barbecue. So we're going to continue um, doing this demonstration um, in, this, uh, in this venue and showing what we have in terms of technology. So really what Phoenix is about is about innovation, new technologies. We've been the first one bringing uh, a whole lot of induction in the country, starting with ventilated ceilings, having it uh, certified in Australia. We've been the first one bringing a combi oven that is um, with self-condensation hood, so it can be basically installed anywhere. Uh, we've been the first one having a vegetable cutting machine with silver components so that kills bacteria. For HK and your customers, it's something very important. So really for us, technology is innovation and innovation is at the forefront of what we do. Um, today we're working on electric kitchens. It's a big topic now. We've been starting this 16 years ago. Uh, we never sold uh, gas equipment. We always saw that electric was a, electricity was a future in commercial kitchen with induction, but as well vitro, um, grid on, electric char grill. And so we've got now that experience that all the others envy us uh, of references and experience in that field. So that's exactly what uh, Chef James and Margot will show you now with uh, induction, electric char grill, combi ovens, uh, deep fat fryers all from MKN and as well uh, some demonstration on induction walk from Adventis. So again, thank you very much uh, for being here. You're welcome to participate, taste the product and ask many questions as you want to our chef that will now take the mic. So we're going to start today on the electric char grill. Just go through with basically the electric char grill um, has a, a water bath on the underneath which basically will collect all of the residues, oils, anything that basically chars and drops into there to make for a really easy cleaning um, where you can un undo the uh, underneath and it just extract the water and then it's just a simple basically wipe out. You can out. perfectly go, yep. go up there and have a look at what it looks like. So one of the fabulous uh, aspects of this char grill is that all of the, we have three cast iron racks so they can be lifted out and then the the actual um, elements can be pulled up and you can clean underneath but also all of the elements are underneath the cast iron grids so you get a lovely perfect heating so you get the same temperature at the front to the back so really nice even. And the other amazing thing is we've done a timing on it and to get it to 350 degrees, it only takes 11 minutes. So whereas you, a lot of your gas char grills or even your um, coal or wood fired char grills, it can take hours. So you're already heating up the kitchen, you're already spending money on exhaust, you're overheating your staff, they're getting cranky. Um, you've also got air conditioning that's been needed more. Whereas with the MKN char grill, um, we're one of the unique ones on the market. 
you only have to heat it up. And we've had people like the Sheraton who remark on it. We've got um, many other um, references that are now using that. And the safety feature of the char grill, James did touch on that before, but it is an automatic water bath. So the, it won't get to a certain temperature until the water reaches a certain level. When that drops, it refills. So in terms of um, fat falling into the, um, the water, it's, it's keeping that. And also from a cleaning point of view, um, we're all spending so much money on staff. It is an easier clean because you have the water bath. You just have to drain it and then wipe it out and you've got your result. So we're going to show you it's, it's hot now. We preheated it, but after uh, when we used it, we let it cool down and show you how actually you can clean it. So basically you get the cast iron grid. So this one is 800. This one is 800, so that's a size two. And we've got a, a size up. So that's a middle size. The smaller is, uh, is 500, I think. It's two, two cast iron grids. So you see three there and the, the other one is, uh, is four cast iron. The main ad advantage of that one is that you will take 11 minutes to heat up, where a gas one, uh, we did some tests with Guzman and Gomez, for example, who do all their, all their uh, chicken fillets. They need 20 to 25 minutes on a gas char grill uh, to reach the temperature. So that's money wasted. Where here, 11 minutes, you're done, you can go. The, the other unique thing as well is that, I guess, because the, the char, uh, gas char grill goes on all day long, first thing you turn on in the morning, um, but in the quiet periods of time, in like if the cafe is in the afternoon, but you're only serving a lighter menu, you can almost turn it right down or off because you've only got that 11 minutes from cold I had to come back up, but around about four minutes if you just turn it down to low. Now, another feature about the MKN is this is the optimum range. So this is all about freestanding. So they're separate units that have been put together with what is called a profile connection. So that stops, so you can see just it's, a, it's just a bar. Um, that stops water spillage, oil spillage. It makes it much cleaner. Um, for, for the end user. And we've got here the 700 depth, but we've also got an 850. Right. So you'll see that here. And then what we also have in the um, MKN range is something called counter SL. Counter SL meaning it's a unit that sits on the counter. So if you have limited space or you perhaps have a different um, financial um, requirement, you can actually use our counter SL, which goes up to about there. We also do provide stands with it and infill benches. So the other thing is, and I need a convincing of this, is when we were doing a um, presentation and demonstration with um, Guzman Gomez, I was I just really, because it was a char grill over a uh, coal or wood or um, gas, or some ceramic rock, yep. Um, I was just really interested in the char grill flavor and also the marking. So you can see here with the chorizo, and don't worry, you all get to have a little taste. Um, you can see the lovely marking on it. And that's the same with the chicken. We've got video proof of that. I know that you can't smell through a video or a YouTube, but um, yeah, we actually could, we found that and people have been surprised at how you can get that char grill. And you can see the controls are basically, this is your on and off for the, the whole unit. You turn it to one, and then you've got the two controllable zones for either side. So you can have you know, set temperature on one side. If you're doing steaks, obviously you have it lower, bring it over, let it slowly cook on that. That's what I was cooked on. But it's gas obviously is not as, as controllable. You have to make sure thing. And then you have a, on gas, you always find that basically you find different cool and hot spots. So you would, the top of the char grill is obviously where you're getting all the hot heat. Um, with this, well, I'll show you in a second when it's, once it cools down, you see the elements run all the way from top to bottom. So you get even temperature exactly all over. And that was one of the major uh, comments that these national accounts made, is that on their gas char grill, they basically, yes, they've got a big surface, 
but they can't use the whole surface because it, they've got hot spot and cold spot where on this one there is none. Again, you can see the nice scoring yep. of the colour. So these um, are a recipe from Jacques family. It's, uh, they're basically a shoe pastry, they're called Gougere. Gougere. Gougere, pronounced very properly. Um, and they're basically just going to be like a little Gougere slider, uh, which is a shoe pastry, which you can fill with some pickles, some uh, cheese on there. On the, on the Gougere, right? Please, have a taste. Sorry, we're firstly just because we're heating, so we're just utilising our time. We just want to highlight the London Fryer. So this is a London Fryer 2 in the Optima range, and this is an 850 width. And this, um, we want to put the timer on to show you the actual time it takes to heat up. Uh, so that's helping to reduce your connected load. It's helping again to reduce the heat of the oven sorry, the, of the equipment. And there's also the most amazing recovery period. So when you put a whole bag of chips, you can do three quarters of a bag of chips in there. And when you pull them out, it's a very, very short recovery, but we'll do the timer so you so can see that. it's very efficient. It's a 12 litre each basket oil content with 10 kilowatts in each basket. So that's, uh, that's very, very efficient. And we call it high load. So because it's in terms of the liter per oil and watts, uh, it's very, very high. So the recovery is very fast. So even if you go with volumes of French fries, your recovery will be very, very fast. So that's one what we found out. So what Seven. you see here is the heating, heating time. Um, always in the MKN appliances, when the light is on, it's heating. As soon as we reach the temperature, the, the light goes off. So in the London Fryer, you can either have a single unit, you can have a double unit, or we've got something called a Paris. So I think they've gone around the world and named all of the equipment from MKN from around Europe. So the Paris is a one single unit and it takes up to 30 litres. Yeah. And you've got these baskets in there and you see it's deeper here. When you've got your heating element down, you've got the cold zone. Cool. So very adamant to show. And again, easy to clean. You get that up. Kilowatts per side. 10 kilowatts uh, per side, and on the 30 liter, 20 kilowatts in one basket. But very easy to clean as well. So like you can lift those pieces out, strain the oil out. It's a case of wiping in and out on this, and then ready to go again. Again, a lot of the fat fryers don't have that possibility of lifting the heating element, and it's a nightmare to clean. While we're waiting for that, which is, roughly only probably another seven minutes. It's usually around about 14 minutes and 20 seconds. That's what I've tested it at from cold, which is what we had it here. I'm going to just do a little bit of demonstration on the electric wok, induction wok. So there's... If you notice on, on this as well, I mean, yeah, a lot of chefs, uh, Asian chefs, they're worried about basically yeah, yeah, yeah. knocking the wok on. Yeah, yeah, because if you feel here, you won't come up and feel it here. There's a, there's a lip uh, before where it gets the glass. Although it's straight, you know, toughened glass. Good, John. Yeah, yeah. John. 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 Sorry. <laughs> you've, been, you've been asked to come and test how you use the wok on top of the thing. So just, just use it as, as you would a gas wok. Ah, okay. Yeah, we just, but if, if you were just chucking it around, how? Would you? I have to say the 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 how the what? Oh, there you go. Nine minutes. So nine minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nine minutes to reach. Uh, what we might do then? Just oh, do that off for a second. Oh. Yeah, twelve point five liters okay. in nine minutes. Nine minutes. So people who know 
them. The fat fryers, they yeah. will assess that it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty fast. Okay, um, so I've made empanadas. Uh, empanadas is like a, I guess, I guess in Asian cooking, like a, a small dumpling, yep. but um, this is more of a Spanish style. Yep. Um, actually, these ones are a Filipino style ones. Um, so there's a mixture between the Indonesian and Filipino ones, but um, whereas they, they just fry them. Let me just try anything. So these are made with beef, where well, I've just made the beef filling in the middle. Um, So you can see how it comes right around to the edges. So other brands, it only comes to certain points. So you get that lovely, even heat and the full extension right to the edges. So it can basically be installed, can be installed anywhere. We do it single phase, depending on what you want to reach and the type of cooking. This is more for casual work when you are really serious about work cooking then we would recommend to go for three phase. There you go, I've got to learn that risk action. <laughs> but how, how do you find it with, uh, with going straight back to the, I mean, this is? More. You got it. Can go up to 25. Yeah. So what I had started on was 16. So it's like only midway. You see, and you the, see the temperature came straight away. This is this is maximum temperature. So you just control it by up and down. So like if you want to bring it down to 14 now, you do it. You see when we had it up at full blast, you're getting the searing of that. But um, the best thing about uh, induction cooking on induction is if when you do see it sealing like that, you can knock the temperature down very, very fast. And that reduces down to that. And then you can just slowly cook while you move away and just hold it at the temperature. So they even down to five, just holding there while you get your other ingredients. And you can use programs as well. So you can, you see P1, P2, P3. They are levels, so instead of waiting to go from level 1 to level 25, you put programs and then you've got the automatic, you know that P3 is a full power, you go to full power straight away. It's warm, it's warm because of the heat coming from the wok, but the principle of induction is that it doesn't create any heat, it's a magnet field. So by itself, it's, it's not there. So there, you don't spend any money compared to gas work when you don't have a pan, you're burning money. Where here, it's only work when you put the pan on. Absolutely. Well, what I want to demonstrate on here with the induction cooking uh, rather than gas is I've got a, a fondue on here. And I've had this on here since this morning at 9 a.m. Uh, it's, it's just sitting on here. Um, and the fondue sauce is not caught or anything, it's just sitting on here. Um, and it's on the lowest temperature, which is just one. Um, and it can control there basically all day long. I think it's roughly around about 75 degrees is holding it at. So you, you could have chocolate, anything just sitting on there all, all day long. And the other thing is about the induction, which we all know, is that you can put your hand right near it and it's not going to burn. So OH&S is a fantastic. Also for the effectiveness of induction is up to 90% compared to gas, which is about 55. So you're wasting so much energy with gas. Uh, so yeah, you can put your hand all around and you can see you can come, come and have a try of it, everybody. So the MKN induction is made with six millimeter glass top. So that's one of the major things you've got to assess when you buy induction is the thickness of the glass because that's going to be how solid your induction will be. Over 16 years we've been selling induction uh, all over the country. Uh, we probably had three 
uh, in the whole lot that we sold broken. The thing with induction cooking as well is if you have the whole unit turned on, and you can see here where this one is flashing, it's the one I've had on, you can have each zone set up um, for whatever you want your sources for, um, different temperatures, they'll all be flashing, you can preset them, and they don't react until you put your pan on. There, and then you come on, like it might, you might have this one for basically bringing the sources to temperature really fast, so you would put that one on, have it the highest temperature, and you see it goes solid as soon as you put it on. As soon as you put it on, yeah, it's solid. I didn't put that one on, sorry. And, uh, and there you go. Yeah. And so you can move and basically use it as a gas target top, but electric without heating your kitchen. Yeah. And it's fast. And then they'll just sit in the background blinking until you put your pans on. And, and not heating up, not heating up. No. Because yeah. you, you, know, you know what chefs do when they arrive in the kitchen, don't they, James? Yeah. First thing they do, start the burners yeah. and left them on from yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning well, to 10 o'clock p.m. Then yes, exactly. So here they can do that. Yeah. It's not burning your money. I know we've got technicians here. Um, major thing in the MKN range as well is how you service it. So you see all this control panel there from the you know, Optima range. Uh, it's a principle in MKN, so you've got, you've got screws there in the front. So here you would arrive, something goes wrong. First you've got a Morse code into this uh, heating element, into this generators. So if something goes wrong, the light will shine in a, in a different pattern to tell you what's faulty. If you've got a generator that's broken, you unscrew this, get the button off and you've got direct access to every component. That's the same for every type of equipment from MKN, always full access from the technician from the front. You don't need to pull them out to be able to access it. On the generation of the inductions, they're on slides. So you've got there four generators, you open the panel, you slide them out, unplug, put a new one, plug it back in, and off you go. And you're able to start again. So it's all about easy service to minimize the disruption for you guys to be able to cook. Is that 800 by 7? This one is 800 by 7, 7 wide, yes. 3.5 kilowatts each. In the Optima 850, you've got 5 kilowatts each, so 20 kilowatts. This one is 14. This is our uh, Flexi Combi, which is the four side. This is a six tray. Um, over here, behind where Mel is standing, we have the Space Combi team, which is two six trays uh, combi, but um, one GN, I see, and top and bottom. Only 50 centimeter wide. So, but they are proper GN11. You've got six, six trays 50 or five trays 100. You've got six levels, but they work on, on 60 deep. So basically in 50 centimeter wide, here you've got 12 trays, completely independent combi ovens, high level. So you can steam there, bake under or roast and steam. Oh, that's, one on a, that's one unit, two, two ovens completely separate with two different controls. So the beauty of it is that you can basically on a very small space have 12 trays. This one is even a magic team. So what we call magic team is that we've got four layers of filters. So you don't need a hood. You can install it anywhere. We have it certified according to the Australian standard 1668.2. So you don't need a hood, you put it anywhere you want. It will catch odors, smell, blue smoke, and get everything stored and you just replace the filters. This is the, obviously the, this is called the Flexi Combi. It starts with the six trays, 10 trays, uh, 20 tray and 40 tray. 
up to, and then um, also in a team. So you can have a six and 10, six and six on one of those. And this a unique thing to obviously uh, MKN is what we call smoke inside, which is basically a built-in smoker. So you can add it to your programs, as in exactly the same with a space combi, fully programmable. You can have a, say a pork dish, um, knuckle of pork, and then at different stages of your programs. You can all program, it comes with preset programs like these ones, um, but you can add all your other programs to yourself, to your own recipes, to your own cooking things, which is, I'll go through all at the beginning with training. Um, and with these as well, so like this one's a pork knuckle, you could actually, at the end of this um, program, add a smoking element to it. And a step to the right, you can see in this, um, and you pick smoking. Um, and then you can add the temperature of the smoking, is introducing, control it by this, and then how much smoke you're adding, uh, if it's only 10 minutes at the end of it, with that, and then that's saved in there, so that's a step four of your thing. What you would do with this, is remove this little drawer, and then you can either soak, or put, or put in dry, depending how long. Usually if you want to uh, give a, a longer element of smoking, um, you would soak your wood chips, um, and then obviously pick different sizes to, and different flavors of wood chip. I, I like to soak them, you can soak them in uh, apple juice, for, for instance, if you have flavor, especially with pork. It's nice with a knuckle of pork. And just fill up your drawer with, with your chips. Add them back into that. You can see where the elements are going in and where it heats the chips. And then start your program. But when you press start on, the, on this one, it is adding it at the end of it for 10 minutes. Add, and then suddenly program. So it's just the normal cooking. And then it's not like a case of opening the oven, trying to burn chips, put them into the bottom of the oven and give the smoke flavor. It does it all itself, it's all programmable. And then that's a unique feature by MKN. MKN is the only manufacturer having this smoke uh, capacity integrated into your program. All the others, you would put a burner inside, but you've got no control of the temperature, no control of the quantity of smoke that will arrive there. That's not the case with MKN. Another feature, so we talked about the space combi, space MKN meaning 55 centimeters, saving you space. Flexi combi, meaning that it's flexible. Why do I talk about flexibility? It's because we're the only one on the market that's got what's called a flexi rack. So the actual inside of the MKN combi oven chamber is a lot wider and we load horizontally, whereas a lot of the other ovens on the market is vertically. A, we find that more ergonomical um, and safer for loading, but secondly, we've got the thing called the Flexi Rack that's being specially designed by MKN, and it gives you a 50% additional capacity. So, say you uh, want a 10 tray, but you've only got the budget for a six tray, you could actually order these Flexi Racks. It can either be in the grid, it can be in a GN, a gastronome, um, material or you could have it in a baking tray. Um, we've also got cast iron, we've got in muffin containers and also chicken um, grids. So you put your all of uh, your trays in, you get that extra 50%. Now let me show you what it looks like. See that you can select between a short uh, clean, whether it's <coughs> if it is just at the end of the day, each day and you're just using that one. Um, uh, medium is an hour and 50, and intensive is probably maybe once a week, which is the three hour clean, which would, you would do at the end of your cooking day um, and let it cook itself overnight, clean itself overnight. And you won't use more water, Re recycle the water like a dishwasher. So you were talking about cost. I'm talking about cost as well. The amount of water that you use on the rationale and a conversion, an electrolux, a Zanussi combi, 
compared to here, it's immense difference. So we've taken, we've taken the grids off. So you see here. So you can lift it up. It's an all through, yeah. Yeah, and then it's see it's catching all of your like uh, char elements or uh, the oils and everything all fall into here. You can strain that at the end of the day. When it goes down to a certain level, obviously it'll tell you to and, and refills. So <clears throat> here. You would, you would strain the water off, yeah. So there is a, a probe and the water level. Yep. So if it won't work a certain thing? It won't start until you've got the water level right, and then it's going to start. And then down the track during service, if it goes below the, the tank, it will reduce the power until the water that's comes what you in. Told me, but that's what yeah. I'm for the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's a new version. So I wanted to just with the Optima, just going back to the design, is you can either have an open area underneath your Optima, you can have a drawer, you can have a cupboard, a winged cupboard, with the induction four zone, you have an oven underneath or without an oven. You can also have trays, just a, a, a shelf underneath. You can order your Optima with cast wheels or just with your feet. And then we talked about the counter SL which is just the, the side, the, um, just a, a counter top item and you can have a stand underneath it. This can also be fitted into beautiful marble bench place or as we mentioned before if you want to put some heating drawers or uh, fridges underneath, that's where your counter SL will lend.